Uh, Coach, uh, let's break down the, the, the two semifinal games. Uh, Villanova, Kansas, which I like, think a lot of people will be looking at. And obviously, we talked a little bit earlier, but maybe a little bit more about uh, uh, Loyola and, and Michigan. I think both of those teams have kind of sneaked up on a lot of people, but Michigan's been playing well all year. Yeah, won the Big Ten tournament. Right. Um, you know, and then you have uh, Kansas and Villanova. Villanova won their tournament. Uh, two number one seeds. Right. I, I've liked Villanova liked from the all. jump. Yeah. I think when you watch them play, the point guard play in, in the Kansas Villanova game. Yeah. I mean, between Jalen Brunson and uh, Devontae, Devontae Graham, I think that's, that's be... yeah an unbelievable matchup right there. And you got yeah. two and they're veteran guys. Uh, yeah, two veterans, and those are powerhouses. You yeah. know, and that's part of the tournament. Some of the great part of the tournament is having the Loyolas. Yeah. But some of the great part of the tournament is also the right. Elite Eight game at Duke, when you, Kansas. When, when, you got, yeah. when you got one-on-one, yeah, that was that's a, yeah. really – yeah, I enjoyed the Duke-Kansas game myself. Uh, it, it's interesting to see. The one thing that I see uh, sticking with Michigan and Loyola a little bit, but also segue into that game, the one thing I – the one advantage I think Michigan has, they haven't been stressed – during this tournament, what I would call stress. Well, how about that Houston game in the well, second round? They could have been. True. They could have been done. They could have been done. But <laughs> but I don't think they've been stressed in the way that Kansas and Villanova have been stressed. You know, for multiple periods of time. You're you're right about the Houston game, but I, if you get what I'm saying, I just yeah. don't get a sense that that everything is is you know, laying on their shoulders yeah. like it is a little bit with Kansas well, and Villanova. When you're a number one seed, you have that pressure on you be in the number right. one seed in each game. So uh, I, I thought that Kansas-Duke uh, game was probably as good a game as uh, I've seen, and you could see that yeah. as being a national championship exactly. game. Uh, so Kansas is clearly tested. Uh, we played Kansas a couple of years ago, and I think Coach Self, who, who's a Hall of Fame coach, sometimes uh, gets – if you could be underrated as a mm -hmm. Hall of Fame coach, I think he's <laughs> underrated as a Hall of Fame coach. He's taking and, all kind of teams uh, there. It, that's it's for amazing. Sure. And you watch their execution on one day preparation against Duke for the zone off the charts. It was a clinic in terms of their mm -hmm. execution. The one play they had at the end of the game where they got it right in the middle and then kicked it right to the yep. wing for the wide open uh, shot right. in the corner. Yep. Oh. Unbelievable. Yeah. And, and it, it went just like that. And then, and then Villanova with, again, I think – they're not considered a blue blood like yeah. Kansas is, but they are a blue blood. Like <laughs> yeah. they've been to three NCAA, three, they've, three they've, final of, fours. Of the teams in the tournament, aren't they the most recent champion? I think they are. And I look at their team and you look at what they've built there. And now they've done it sometimes without pros. Right. And they, they have a, a pro. Yeah, they pros. have a pro. I mean, well, Michael one, Bridges, yeah. he, he's a pro. He's yeah. a no brainer pro. And then Omar yeah, uh, Spellman uh, is a freshman is getting, from yeah. Ohio. Uh, and I would be shocked if Jalen Brunson, I know there's a lot of knocks on him, but you'd be, he's one of those guys that you could see being in the NBA for 10, 12 years. Right quick, who you got in, the, in those two games? Uh, I've taken Villanova all along, so I'll take Villanova over Kansas. And I'll take Kansas. <laughs> I am going to go with Michigan, but I would not be surprised at all if it was Loyola. Really? You and think the, they can steal? The, yeah, the Mac coaching me <laughs> is sort of rooting for Loyola because – it is such a great underdog story, but um, either which way, I, you know, I think you'll have two good games, and then I'm taking Villanova to win the whole thing. I picked that yeah. the first time we picked it, so I'll stick yeah. with that.